Well, usually when a road gets filled with potholes, the city comes out and eventually fixes it. But not in South Suburban Harvey, where people are dealing with that. Huge barriers just blocking the street. CBS 2's Germont Terry is always investigating and found it's more than just an eyesore. The city of Harvey, it finds itself in the bind. Roads are falling apart, but what's happening on one street has neighbors saying this is not safe. Just by looking at 157th Street near Willard, you can see a part of the problem. The streets are riddled with potholes. Traffic is just terrible. Teresa Marroquin lives on the corner, and her worries stretch beyond just these craters in the road. It's very dangerous for the kids to be out even playing out here or riding their bicycle. And here's why. Instead of fixing the street, the city of Harvey opted to install cement blocks to prevent traffic from coming through. And Teresa tells me drivers are persistent and not finding another route. Mm -hmm. Coming through here and just going on top of the sidewalk. You can see the tire marks where cars are driving onto the curb and sidewalks. That's just one of the safety concerns. The other vehicles coming down this street at night, they can't see these concrete barriers until it's nearly too late. I'm afraid that there's going to be an accident one day here. Not to mention, there are no signs letting drivers know the road is even closed. So we took the safety hazard right to the mayor. Well, what I authorized was to close off the street. The closure was a result of poor infrastructure underneath and fear the road might be caving in. The mayor was under the belief the barriers were working. From what I understand, yes, it is preventing vehicles from driving down. But CBS2 spotted cars still creeping through. We showed the mayor and pointed out there's only a stop sign posted, too. Should that say, do not enter? If it would probably, should probably say, do not enter. But what about repairing the road? If there's no funding from the city of Harvey, they should go to the state. That's one of the things that we're putting together a plan to do so at this particular point in time. As the city asks for more money, the mayor says he will do a nighttime assessment in that area to make sure that no cars will slam into those barriers. Reporting in Harvey, I'm Dramont Terry, CBS2 News.